Yeah, good morning guys welcome back to the graphic design training i believe we're doing great today uh, right now i want to teach you how you can make a business logo very straightforward on your android smartphone using your pc lab as you share. and i will teach you step by step how you can present this logo on a markup of your desire without wasting much of our time let's get started i have already made template everything is well downloaded on my google site you just think about it the frame was downloaded on google the same thing applicable to the official image i'm going to use so the next thing the first thing i need to do is to tap on this uh, from gallery then i will locate where i have all those uh, images so take it for instance i'm bringing this circle here you can see it right then i will go to i want to use a texture so i have whatsapp stuff not document so i'm looking for my whatsapp because i have it on my whatsapp so let's look at this for us to be able to see clearly this is WhatsApp document, not that. I need the second WhatsApp. Okay. So this is it. I have a texture to use here. So tap on this texture so you can see. I need to just or oh, I will change it if possible. Sorry. So it should be here. So it's a image. Not this. I don't want the one of cropping. Okay, perfect. So now position this and then you can scale it. Just enable and scale it to how you want it to be. Okay, just make sure you scale it well. Okay okay cool now that you have that one done then you tap on the uh, gallery again and uh, we don't need to distract that because we still need it so we need to come here bring this one here this below frame then you position it perfectly just as this now use this so we are using the test shot again. Okay, so make sure you scale it as well. So I want to scale to make sure it work. Okay, good. So now this is where we are going. Just put in the lazy catcher. So we have lazy catcher. Now think of the font you can use that will perfect and wow this particular area. So we are in search of the font. Let's on for font on our font color. So we look, we choose the best font here. Very want to look for bold font. Uh, so let first of all scroll down, scroll down. So from there we we'll now scroll up again for us to see. there is your font okay so now let's start looking for it i don't have any one in my mind so but when i see one i should be able to recognize it okay 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 let's check this that one boat but not big enough and g we need a phone that can actually work let's look at this i'm thinking this will work but let's see sorry lock them increase the size now so let's position this here it will work perfectly 
can you see right okay cool so you can position this to the middle why we are going to rearrange this just merge them together don't merge just merge them and move don't merge it permanently for you to be able to set this clearly it seems we are on silver side now everything seems cool so what will happen to this lazy catcher we need to give it a different color so i'm giving you this black color to be on silver side why i did the same thing so go to it then we need an image and we need an image to justify our design so position this to the center it's not taking much time you can see then you go to color make it more darker okay change it to black and we are good to go we are good to go then you can see in less than a few minutes we are able to come up with our design and this is a lazy catcher now save it with uh, save it with ultra okay then you can make it in 2d and this is very easy to use in any other area you can use it as a watermark or as a tag so now the next thing we need to do is to match everything as you can see just match it so after you merge it the next thing you need to do is to just give it a color give it a background color that will be fitting it then you position it to the center so after you're able to do that you can save it in two way you understand save it in this way first you can use it as a 2d then you can tap on empty background so that you can save as a you can save as ultra and see with the uh, without backgrounds so after you are able to do that let's head into our chrome browser you can see this is my photo p so when you get to your photo p what you need to do is uh okay welcome back guys so as we i said we want to present it on the markup right now this is my photo p this is a photo p website as you can see now having got here you must have done something which is by getting the markup at the description of this video extract it with your z archive immediately you download it from the description of this video when you extract it make sure you know where you extracted it to then you tap on open from computer click on file then you link it where that markup is okay the markup this is the markup tap on it and click select you wait for it to load so after loading the next thing we need to do is to tap on this thing that look like envelope see where my cursor is blinking just tap on it and double click when you double click you more you prob probably you might experience this just drag to one side it's just a pop-up window close it that one shouldn't stop you some people might not know the next thing to do now after that has been done tap on eye icon to hide everything here so that you can place your own design when you are able to get this you are good to go tap on file open and place then you click on file again locate where you have the design we just made on our pc lab so and this is the design you make sure that uh, you find it out i'm thinking i don't even know the first one well, i guess this is it yeah this is it without backgrounds then you increase the size if you want remember your input will be your it will be exactly your output I mean in size so whatever how you position it no matter how you position that's how it come out so you make sure you 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 uh, are fitting let it fit in across this layer but don't let it go beyond it if you go beyond it it will be black and this is what i'm saying so if you make it go beyond it will cut out some parts 
so you need to just streamline it position it don't let it close up too much and don't let it exceed when you are done with that tip tap on fire then you see save with smart object there's no any funny thing here or there's nothing like magic if you do the right thing you should be able to see the smart object there are two things that can prevent you to see the smart object the first thing is when you are not uh, extracting your markup very well you have issue with the markup maybe you are using background you thought is a markup some people do not understand that and that's why a training is being organized for that you can join the training and you learn too how it work it's very simple when you get it the method are so simple you are going to learn how to open the layer know what the content of the layer is each of those mock-up have different layers there are some that is having a multiple layer some is having a double layer some is having a single layer there are some that is just a replace just import and replace there are some that is not you need to transform it to a particular thing and there are some that you need to open a smart object there are some you don't need to do that there are some you need to rasterize there are some you don't need to rasterize so you need to understand how it will work as a designer even if you're a business owner for you to be able to run different kind of a mock-up and what really matter whenever you are making a logo or making any design you should know how to update your own logo some people say we have old logo can you help me update it modify it elevate it in such a way that at least people will know that uh, i'm still assist many things like that the pains half knowledge is not good when you don't get it at least you can at least go into uh, in, in finding a solution to how you can well equip with it now when you get this the next thing you need to do is to tap here as i said in my previous video so when you tap on it then you should be waiting for the result to transform and in no time you see our result we just have come out because the logo will be transformed into 3d so we are looking we are waiting and that's what i do tell you whenever you are working with a markup you need to exercise patience. everything cannot la last for five minutes five minutes is even too much to run markup no matter the kind of phone you are using you can see the results so some people because of what they are lack knowledge they will be thinking it is their phone this is a three gig ram phone that run this effectively but there are many things that which you need to understand which you might not be able because of the time we need to just split it one after the other like this for us not to take the whole time in the whole world so this is how it works it's just as simple as this free space on your phone you can exhaust all your space and you want to run this at least you need the breathing space a little space for it to breathe for your mock-up to run it successfully thank for watching i believe you will learn something from here just tap on the file click on next spot and tap on png then when you click on that window will pop up just back and click on save another window will pop out at the top that will display what we downloaded just open it and let view it and see our result then you can see is this not cool enough this is amazing thank for watching once again god bless you